Pope, hi. This is an amazing day. I'm completely in awe of you doing a sky dive. My God, right up there. I mean, obviously, I've never got anywhere near it, and I never think I will. But, you know, what are you, now you've been told a bit about it, what are you expecting? How do you feel about it? I went, I've gone from being very excited and like, yes, I'm doing it. And then you get in there and you'll go, right, you literally got to fall out and get caught up in a hundred mile an hour wind and go that way. And you go in, oh my God, this is, this is going to be scary. I'm looking forward to it in the weirdest way possible. I'm a bit of an adrenaline junkie. <laughs> but it's that moment where you've got to sit on the edge of the plane and he's just got to tip you out. That, I think for me, is going to be the pinnacle of fear for me. I think once I'm going, I'll be all right. It's just going to be that, that tip, I think, is going to... <laughs> I was going to say, if it was me, I think they'd have to push me out. What about you? How confident do you feel that you'll be able to jump as opposed to being pushed? <laughs> I think it, what's handy, when I've done the bungee, they literally count to three and then you have to go on your own. So if you don't go on three, you, you're kind of freezing. Whereas for skydive, you are going to be dangling out the plane and you're instructed behind you and he's just going to tip. So he won't give me a countdown, he'll just go, I just think is what I'm going to need. Because if he counts down and goes, you're ready, you're going to go. No, I'm not. Because at least I'll just go and I'm yeah, there then. So yeah. it'll be, yeah, it'll be, it'll be good doing that. Now, um, I mean, we, we all think you're exceptionally brave and we're really grateful to you for raising awareness of suicide. Um, but can you just talk us through your story about, you know, a little, what's motivated you to do the skydive today? What's motivated me? I've always wanted to do one. Like I said, a bit of an adrenaline drunk. I've done bungees, I've done kind of another big roller coaster and everything like that. And it just seemed I needed to channel kind of my grief, as it were, into doing something productive. You know, kind of my family and yourselves know what it's like to lose someone to suicide. And it you can't kind of process, you can't imagine it unless you've been in someone's shoes. And I couldn't, I couldn't wish it upon my worst enemy to feel like that. That person or the family couldn't imagine it. So raising awareness and raising the money to go towards something so important. People thinking, Do you know, it's not as taboo. If we talk, someone will listen. And we can solve it, you know, so it doesn't have to be the answer. And it was, I don't need anybody to feel like my dad did or any of the family did. They need to help. If it saves one person, that it's completely worth it. Absolutely completely worth it. So it was your dad that took his life. Yes. How long ago was that and what were the circumstances surrounding it? It was two years ago on the 29th of July, so we've literally just passed the two-year mark. Um, I had my wedding two weeks prior to that. So we got married, got back to work for two days, and then we found out. And... Um, we knew he was feeling down and kind of there was something there, but it, we found he put a very good mask on and not really gone through it too much. Again, it's that taboo, I shouldn't be feeling like this, I don't need to talk to someone. And then, um, I mean, the week before my wedding, my uncle took him to Tenerife just to kind of get away and because they're twins, they kind of, that, that sense of something's not, not quite right. right. Um, and he seemed to be okay, things seemed to be looking up. Wedding was wonderful, we saw him the weekend before. Big Sunday roast, my sister's lovely. And then we found out on the 29th, I think it was Tuesday, that he took his own life. And we're going, I remember being told it, and I'm going, oh, you're wrong, get on the phone, I'm calling my dad's mobile. Obviously, there's no answer, but you're going, well, that's, you know, you've got this wrong, this, this, that you're not right, and I found out what it was. But it's, it's hard to explain, because it's, it's that moment your world crashes, it is like the rug has been pulled out. And so we didn't really know what was going on and you think back and you get you feel quite guilty of how did you not know but this isn't the case of we don't we didn't it's a very did, good did mask. he uh, leave a note or anything nothing i don't think my dad was that organized to leave a note if i'm honest <laughs> <laughs> but on the weekend because it was such a lovely weekend we saw everyone you know retrospectively look back and obviously if he'd made peace with the fact that this is going to happen i'll have a lovely weekend with my daughters you know we kind of saw family the week before i think it was just his he was going, this is going to happen and I'll do my buys now and, and leave it at that. So obviously we kind of saw him on the Sunday fit and healthy and I think that's how we'll remember him, it's how my daughter will remember him and which it is quite nice in the way we didn't see any decline of, of anything really. Having just spoken to his brother, the feeling is that in fact he had, he was organised and he had prepared this, is, is that right? Yeah, looking back I think he's probably right, you kind of... You do, because it's, it's been such a lovely kind of build-up. He went away on holiday with him, and then we had the wedding, and a lovely kind of two weeks when I was off. And that, like, Sunday dinner with all the family. Mm -hmm. And then it was just, it was so out of the blue. That's why we think it, it was planned. It was going to be a nice couple of weeks before where he was going to enjoy what he had around him. And, of course, you have no sense 
because it's appearing perfectly. Yeah, perfect, you'd have to come, normal, to come to terms with this is what's going to happen. And no warning at all. That's very often the case. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so tell us a little bit about why you wanted to jump to raise funds for SOS and Kaleidoscope Group. It was, I wanted to do it for for a long time. I've always put it off thinking, I'll sort it, I'll do it. And then when I found a kind of SOS online, I was kind of having a bit of a look around for stuff because you find lots of guides on how to deal with grief but you don't see the side of how to deal with grief about suicide because it's, it's mm. that elephant in the room, no one wants to talk about it. When I found this thought, that's exactly what it is. You know, someone who's lost someone to suicide and knows what you're going through. So that's why I contacted you and then it, it kind of sprung on. I wanted to fundraise for you. I wanted to do something to raise awareness, to do something, I said, to channel my grief into something productive. I couldn't just sit there and go, oh, my dad committed suicide, oh dear. And I'm thinking, no, I, I can speak about this. And I'm surprised how many, don't get me wrong, it's not the opening conversation, but people talking, going, oh yeah, well, this happened. I go, oh, right, well, I, I'm bipolar, or I've suffered anxiety, I've been on this medication, and it's amazing how many people will actually, yeah. once you've started the speaking, will right. we'll start talking to it's you. It's like a release mechanism. Yeah. It yeah. is, yeah. and it, it, we found yeah. that it's worked really well. I mean, the amount of people who have come to me and said, yeah, I've, I've suffered, or when I've kind of posted this on social media or spoke about it in the paper, I've had messages from just people I don't know, random people saying, oh, I had, I had a girl who was a student in um, Loughborough, I think they said, was my cousin committed suicide at 15 and bullied and he said, I don't really speak about it and she was about 19, she, you know, but I can't donate much to my student, but donated three pound. Go, do you know what? Whether it's 50p or a million pound, the fact that you've recognised it and supported this is fantastic. And hopefully that'll kind of encourage other people just just to speak about it because it's it happens. It sounds awful, but it it happens. It, this is it. It can happen about. to anyone at any point. Exactly. It? No one's no, immune. No one doesn't immune. care. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So um, obviously you've had your briefing. Yes. You're getting ready to jump in yeah. about an hour's time. Yeah. Um, so how are you feeling just before you go up? Now I've been through the briefing. It's becoming extremely real. And they'll sit there and you go, right, line your stomach, arms like this, arms back, knees back, drag this up, you're thinking, oh wow. It's not just a ride now, it's literally you've got to do all this and they'll strap you in. So it's it's feeling very real. So I'm kind of I've got nerves, don't get me wrong, I think it'd be a bit odd if I didn't have nerves. I think as soon as I'm in the plane and I'm literally kitted up, hat on, goggles on, going no, so I'm how nervous. high up are you going to be? It's going to be 10,000 feet. 10,000? 10, 10, so we might not see you at that, or maybe we will. Just. <laughs> you'll, see, you'll hear me coming down, I'll be shouting. Now, what I, want, I want you to do <laughs> SOS in the sky as you come down. <laughs> I'll try, it's the wind blowing. Oh, no, no. But, uh, so good. I've been looking online yeah. at your fundraising page. Yeah. And you have done brilliantly. Thank you. Last time I looked, I think you're just under three thousand two hundred pounds, yeah. which is astounding, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and just shows the level of support, not wonderful. just for you, but for the subject. Yeah. I think you know the support that people are having for the subject of suicide. Mm. So, how much do you think you might reach by the end of the day when all the collections are taken into account? Well, I checked on Virgin Money Giving this morning, mm. and including gift aid, I'm about thirty five hundred. Brilliant. So I've got a little bit more to come in. I've got donation buckets floating around. Yeah. So we may may hit of maybe three eight. If we're very, if we have a very good day, it might be four. So I think Fantastic. three eight may be looking realistic. But it's just, so it just it's not even I mean, the, money, the amount of money is fantastic. But just the support. As soon as you speak about it, I've had friends and family who are kind of you know coming today and here today, and you're like, that's great. You're thinking sometimes people go, oh, so my dad committed suicide. They're going, oh, weather's nice, and really won't interact with it but I've had such a good support from family and friends that if I want to talk they'll talk if I don't yeah. feel like talking that day they won't yeah. and that's exactly what I needed just I quite enjoy talking about my dad I think the family know that and are quite happy to do that with me and I, I enjoy that and I think that's all I needed was them to understand how I was feeling yeah. especially with, it's not just me all the family you know, when right. everyone messages each other saying you know how you feel especially because his anniversary has kind of just gone on on the Friday they all message other going, are you okay? How are you feeling? Um, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. And it was just nice to know there's someone, if I was feeling really down, I could go, look, I'm not. I'm really not feeling good. But I'd have someone there. That yeah. thing, not, not everyone has that. And that's how no, it's I must say, it's home, great to see it? all your family here today. Yeah, there are loads of you and it's fantastic. It's and I believe good. even your dad's here. He is. Spirit. <laughs> he is, he is, he's, he's here. He's <laughs> right here, look. He's there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a wonderful picture him. of him there. So it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Well. 
I think we all wish you the very best of luck, Hope. Thank you. I'm glad I'm down here on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll be cheering you on thank and we'll you. speak to you again once you've got back down to Earth. That's Brilliant. Oh, great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right, why are we jumping out of an aeroplane today? I am raising funds for the Kaleidoscope Plus group who work with an initiative called SOS Silence of Suicide. Um, to raise funds for them to set up a walking centre for those who have mental health issues. Cool, we should go then, shall we? Uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'll do that again. <laughs> 